All right, this is a quick review of the installation of an FVS2 voice guide unit into my FTM 400 XDR UHF VHF transceiver by ASU. Take a quick look, here's the voice unit itself, fairly small in its package. All right, to get started, we needed to remove eight screws to take the cover plate off the top. There's four on the face itself on top and then two on each side. Make sure that you don't remove the four screws for the speaker. I originally left the mounting bracket attached to the radio because I could see that it really wasn't interfering with or holding on the, the top cover. But after removing the screws and trying to take the cover off, that thing was stuck. And so I, I removed the mounting bracket thinking that maybe it was holding it on. But no, that wasn't the case. It is just really stuck on there. Be very careful when you pull the, the top cover off though because the speaker has very thin wires and you don't want to snap those off when you remove the top cover. Once I've got it open, I use a pair of needle nose pliers to carefully remove the speaker plug to get that out of the way. But to be honest, you may have enough clearance without even removing the speaker. And there it is, that's the plug slash socket where you just mount the, uh, the FVS2 unit onto. It just presses right on there, it's just held in by friction, which is kind of unusual for a mobile radio, but it seems to work. I remove the unit from its packaging and just press it right onto the socket, and that's it. It's, yeah, I don't think it can be any easier. And you're ready to go. Just uh, put it back together. Reassembly is just a uh, reverse order of the disassembly. So you Reattach the, the speaker wire, press it back in, making sure the polarity is correct, but it's a one-way plug, so you shouldn't have an issue. And then uh, just uh, screw the uh, top plate back on. I got a bit lazy on uh, putting it back together using my electric uh, hobby screwdriver to reassemble. And that's it, she's ready to go mount it in the vehicle and plug everything in and we'll test her out. All right, sound check. Touch the screen and it'll identify the band, the mode, and the frequency. To record what's being played on the radio, press the F button on the right side and it brings up this screen. You may have to press the forward and backward buttons to get to the uh, recording page. To record, simply press the record button and it records whatever's on, on the air. And to stop, you simply press the stop button and it will stop recording. And I'll dial off of this repeater to find an empty space so we can listen to the recording. Bring the screen back up and press play and it will play the audio for you, whatever you've captured. To manage the voice unit, we go over and press on the display button, bring up the display. And down in the lower right is the options, select that. At the bottom of that is the voice memory, select that option, twice. 
I apologize for the video quality. The GoPro isn't really good at uh, close-up range, but you select the record option. You got uh, last 30 seconds or free five minutes. Choose your your language. You got a choice of English or Japanese. That's it. And everything else is fairly self-explanatory, fairly straightforward. <laughs>